Hello again, PH Digital here. Hi, and today I'm doing a new segment. This is called Throwback Thursday or Throwback Thursday Technology Review, Triple TR. And today we're focusing on a smartwatch. Do you remember this? This is the Samsung Gear 2 from many years ago. All right, let's take a deep dive years ago into this tech, six years ago. And here it is, the Samsung Gear 2. So yeah, this is a uh, throwback all the way back to, let's see, six years and 13 days ago. Uh, yeah, this gadget was unveiled back on February 22nd of 2014 at the Mobile World Congress. And what's cool about this, uh, unlike its predecessor that was using an Android OS, Samsung developed a Linux-based mobile operating system and launched it with this one called Tizen. So what this separates this, uh, they touted uh, improved technology and it was going to be better integrated with S Health. And instead of the camera on the band, the camera is right there, here, let's zoom in here. There's the camera, and right next to the camera is an infrared blaster, so you can control your TV and other aspects. Uh, I borrowed this from a friend uh, because online, Amazon is showing that these have been discontinued, and they're going for $200 to $300, and that's the same price as this one right here, the Samsung Active 2 from last year. So yeah, some retro tech, pretty awesome. Uh, I actually remember when this one came out and I really wanted to try it. So yesterday on my lunch break, I tried to pair this with my current phone, the OnePlus 6T, and it's running Android uh, OS 10. Yeah, that does not work. So I called Samsung yesterday as well and they did some troubleshooting and gave them the model number on the back. And as it turns out, this is not compatible with newer operating systems. So uh, we're gonna go back in time again. And in retro fashion, we're gonna have to pair this with a similar smartphone. This is an LG Flex 2 in Volcano Red. Uh, I borrowed this uh, from my daughter. Isn't that gorgeous? She's decorated with flowers. It's actually a really cool phone, uh, the LG Flex 2. And this one came out back in January of 2015. So we have a six-year-old smartwatch and we're going to connect it with this device right here from 2015. So five years old, six years old. Okay, let's get to it. So I opened up the uh, Play Store and then we're going to need to download the Galaxy wearable gear app. Uh, yeah, sure, except. And one thing you have to remember when working with uh, old technology, you have to be patient. <laughs> uh, duh, no thanks. So now we'll also need the Samsung Health app. Let's see here, Samsung Health. Samsung Health Sync. Uh oh. We might be in trouble here. I'm not seeing the Samsung F, uh, S, you know, the regular Samsung Health app. So, LG Health. Well, we might have another compatibility problem here. Well, that's a bummer. Well, maybe we can still set up the watch, so let's uh, see what we can do here. So now that that's open, we'll download it. Start, and you have to go all the way down to Mine's Not Here. Devices spotted. Pick the device you want to connect to. 
You know, I better turn this one into airplane mode so we don't have any crosstalk. Hmm. Pretty sure I enable Bluetooth. Yep, Bluetooth is on. Now yesterday when I was doing this on my phone, um, I could connect to the device right there. You can see it. I can see it through Bluetooth, but I couldn't see it through the app. Device not appearing. Scan for nearby devices. I was actually going to go buy an old Samsung phone and uh, maybe I'm going to have to borrow one. Yeah, I, I apologize. I, I'm not willing to go out and buy a really old phone just to make this. You've got a set of gear icon now. Come on, you can do it. Devices spotted nearby. I know, it's right here. Yeah, the friend I borrowed this from, he is rocking the Samsung Galaxy smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy 7, which is a great phone. You know, this might not work, folks. Wow, epic fail on, well, at least this isn't live, right? So while we're waiting for this to sync, it does have this cool video, which I thought was really cool. Show video. So as you go into the Galaxy Store, which is pretty old, but that's might that might be what it takes. I might have to borrow an actual Samsung phone to get this to work. Samsung Gear Manager, free download. So we'll reboot the app and we're going to try connecting through Bluetooth first and see if that does anything. Come on Samsung, there's the gear, it's pairing. Pair. And yes, it does have a speakerphone. And I reset this to a factory yesterday. I guess I should have waited and just wrong pin. Try again. Performing a factory data reset. Please wait. I think I killed it. There we go. Come on, Samsung. Welcome. All right, here we go. Next, next. Let's see if we can get these to talk to each other. There we go, pair, okay. Connected, okay. So now we'll launch the Wear app. Come on, LG, you got this. You know, this is not going to work. I wonder if we download the plugins. See if this helps. Whew. Hmm. Once again, yeah, you have to be very patient when dealing with a five year old smartphone. I'm pretty sure uh, support for this one has been discontinued as well. Okay, so that's installed. Now we can open back up the Wear app, clear all, restart. We'll just pick this one just for fun. 
I honestly don't think it really matters. I think because this is not a Samsung, and this is, and it's six years old, I don't think it's gonna work. Well, I'm about out of ideas here. Well, while we're waiting, I'll show you the cool charging cradle that it came with. And uh, some other things about this old technology, even though it's six years old, it's pretty cool. It came with a 300 milliamp battery, which is only, it's about the same size as the Samsung Active 2. Uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigabyte, four gigabytes of storage, this is a micro USB charging cable. So you just take a cable like this and plunk, plug it in. And it's pretty cool. Um, it just has the uh, copper uh, charging points there. And then you just plug it in like so. Not happening. Well, tell you what, we're going to reboot, and I'll be right back. So I restarted my phone, and I'm going to restart this. I'm going to put it on sound, even as outdoor mode. How cool is that? After five minutes, brightness will be reset to default. So we're going to power that off. And then it should show charging. There you go. Love Android. I wonder if the new Apple Watch does that. 88%. So the battery is still pretty cool. And then this came with a home button. There's no other buttons on the watch. And we should get a startup sound. Awesome. Samsung Gear 2. Next. Okay, let's try this one last time. Open up the Galaxy wearable. Mine is not here. Well, folks, sometimes old technology is just old technology. <laughs> so uh, this is not going to happen today. Hmm. I'll see if I can get a hold of a different phone.